Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, so I'm giving the Black Friday unboxings a rest for now. And I wanna go back to some just good old fashioned makeup application. And I was inspired by one of my um, viewers. She commented, um, Melissa Miller 5972 wanted me to do a shop my stash specifically for Morphe palettes. But to be honest, I just recently started to incorporate Morphe back into my collection earlier this year due to the fact that I kind of discounted the brand a few years ago when I tried a palette and I didn't like it. It was just real muddy on me and, and the colors just didn't look good. It was like one of their nine pan palettes. I don't even remember what it was. Specifically, she was interested in the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette. And I am going to show some love to this OG palette because it's really, really pretty and it's an awesome palette with really good quality and it is a stunning cool tone palette so that's what I'm gonna do one of the things that she actually she mentioned that really caught my attention was she said showing love to old school or OG palettes or OG make OG makeup when times were simpler and I agree a hundred percent when times were simpler. And man, that's what my channel is all about. I don't get fancy at all. So if you're new here, my name's Carrie. I love makeup. When when times were simpler. <laughs> and so please subscribe to my channel if that's something that you're interested in. I will never draw an ocean scene on my eyes with the moon in the background and the waves, you know, out and the stars in the background, like that type of artistry is completely beyond me. I appreciate it for what it is. It's beautiful artwork, but it's not practical for the everyday person who wants to go to work or go to school or run errands. So, um, so please subscribe to my channel if you want simplicity and easiness. And that's where the real fun of makeup comes into play. And for those of you who already subscribed, thank you so much. Y'all mean so much to me. So anyways, so Melissa Miller, thank you so much. I, I, I am so glad that you mentioned this palette because I brought it back out. I've been playing with it for the past couple days and I really like this palette. It's great quality. Um, so the few palettes that I have from Morphe have been bar none, spectacular. Um, so I'm glad that I gave the brand another shot. So anyways, let's just get on with this video. So I'm gonna take just a fluffy brush, any fluffy brush, you guys. It doesn't have to be anything special, just a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna start with the um, transition color. And I'm going, going into this color right here and that is gonna be my transition. I feel like the makeup industry has just gone off in like left field and has just gone in a different direction besides just, you know, applying pigment to bring out the naturally beautiful features that we already have. I mean, it has just become so complicated for people that they just shy away from it. And there's no way that people can keep up with all these latest trends. And I'll tell you what, I get stuck in the hype too. And I want the latest and the greatest thing, but then it's like, well, do I really truly love makeup or do I truly love um, purchasing makeup, you know, and just having that dopamine drip because I got something, you know, shiny and new, um, you know, so <laughs> I like being old school and being practical with my makeup, if that makes sense. Okay, that blended out really nicely. All right, so I'm gonna take another clean, any, fru any, fluffy, any fluffy brush that you want, um, going into this color right here, and I'm gonna start putting that in the crease. And I, I really love and enjoy a cool toned palette. Um, I feel like I'm more of a warmer, neutral undertone um, but opposites attract. So I feel like if you're a warm undertone, don't be afraid to go cool toned with your looks. And if you're a cool tone, don't be afraid to go uh, warm tone with your looks, you know, playing, playing with it. That's the, that's the fun of makeup. You know, you just want something that looks nice that you're proud of. <laughs> you know, you're not trying to, most of us are not trying to win a contest, you know, and YouTube makes it, 
you know, th these influencers, you know, on YouTube, they make it seem like they found like the Ark of the Covenant, <laughs> you know, this next technique or whatever. And some of them are, are downright just ridiculous. Let's be honest. Um, some are very good. Some are practical. Um, but some of these are just getting kind of silly. That blended out really nicely as well. Starting to look really, really good. All right. So now I'm going into this color right here and I'm just going to start to, um, darken up the outer V area, get some dimension. And then we'll move on to the fun stuff, the glitters and the shimmers. Take that same color, let's take it under the lower lash line. Let's just take that first fluffy brush, just kind of clean things up a little bit. We don't want any harsh lines. Okay, so now let's get to the fun part. Let's get to the glitter. First, I am going to apply some glitter glue just with my finger um, on my eyelids, and then I'll dip directly um, into the pigment, which I'll show you here in just one second. Um, it'll help the glitter adhere to the eye and you'll have a lot less fallout. So I'm gonna go into this color right here. I'm just gonna take it right on my finger and just apply it to my lid. Wow, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of the glitter glue, putting it on my finger, just a very small amount, putting it in the middle of the lid, just dabbing it. We're gonna go into this chunky plus press, <laughs> chunky press glitter right here. Add a little pizzazz to our eyes. All right, so let's highlight the inner corner and the inner lid. Kind of tapered, flat brush. You can take whichever one you want. We go into this gold shade right here. It is just absolutely beautiful, this, this color. On your entire lid, oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, I might, might need to use a glitter glue, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, okay. It either needs to be wet or some glitter glue, so. Put a little glitter glue. Just applied some glitter glue and now we can go back in. Oh yeah, okay. Take it up and over just. Okay, so that is on. Your makeup doesn't have to look perfect on both sides. It's never going to. They're never gonna be identical twins, more like distant relatives maybe. <laughs> Okay, so now let's move on to the mascara. I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Hero, oh, Superhero Mascara. I did purchase this um, with one of my Black Friday hauls. It was normally, I think, like 30 bucks. It was like $12 at Ulta for Black Friday, and it is awesome. I love it. Not curling or anything, my lashes. I'm just going in. Okay, the mascara is on. One thing that I forgot was a brow bone highlight. I love a good old fashioned brow bone highlight. So this color right here, you guys, of all the brushes that I have in front of me right here, I don't have an angled brush, but no matter, we 
will persevere. Okay, so I'm gonna just take kind of like a, a flat, kind of a flat brush like that. Let's complete this look before I show you the final look. Take that first fluffy brush, just kind of clean it up. The first fluffy one that you use, no more pigment, just kind of blend things out. So you guys, there it is. So easy, so simple, so pretty. This look is so, so pretty. So let me zoom in a little bit closer. And in case you're wondering, you guys, um, on my lips is the Jason Wu Honey Fluff Matte um, Liquid Lipstick in number 13 Mauve Pink. It also says Rose Mauve. I have the corresponding um, lip pencil. And then I did top it with the um, Jason Wu Extra Pout um, liquid let me actually let me add a little bit more of that because it is so so pretty it just gives the lips a beautiful shine um and i love 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 jason Wu lip products i purchased a whole bunch more for black friday which i'll, I'll do another video you know later on um but man i love this stuff if you have a problem with your lips drying out I am first in line when it comes to dry lips and I live in Florida and I got very oily skin and it it behooves me to, to say that I have dry lips. I don't know where or why, but anyways, I digress. This stuff does not dry my lips out. I, I'm, I have gone far and wide and searched and this is the stuff that does not dry my lips out. Not saying it's going to be for you, but I'm just saying give it a try. If you suffer from dry lips, from putting on, you know, lipstick, um, lip gloss, then try this because it's worked well for me. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, if there's any other looks that you want me to do, I'm happy to do that for you guys. Just let me know in the comments. Melissa Miller, thank you so much for the suggestion. This is truly an awesome palette and right now i don't know if you guys know morphe is doing a 50 percent off i'm gonna link it below i don't know showing love to this was awesome and it's such a beautiful simple look something that i can walk out of the house and be proud of and that that's what makeup should be about simplicity so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye